What's up everybody? I hope you enjoyed that little video uh, featuring some kicks from my buddy Chris Tan. Uh, this is going to be episode one of what I'm going to call Kicks with Chris, volume one. Chris actually owns all of these shoes, plus a few more. I'm not going to mention a number. I don't think he would want me to. Let's just say it's high. We are planning to do a couple features on specific shoes in the future. If you saw one that you like or want something featured that you have, please let us know. So we shot all this. It's too hot in here. So we shot all this on the black magic pocket cinema camera 4k in 4k at 60 frames a second so the shoes that you see in order i have them listed here we've got the lebron zoom generation the lebron ones we've got the lebron 7 uh christmas edition okay wait 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 a second i think i know what you're gonna say yes these are all lebron shoes all i did was tell chris to bring over some of his favorite shoes and seeing as we play basketball together almost every week and we're both big lebron fans I should have known we'd be doing a feature on some of LeBron's best shoes to date. You want to see something else? Leave a comment down below. I'm back to it. We've got the LeBron 9 Canon Edition. We've got the LeBron 10 Diamond Edition or the Wind Chill. We've got the LeBron 15 Ashes Edition, which is my personal favorite. And we've got the LeBron, 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 Giant, LeBron 17 Monstars Edition. I did want to do something a little more fast paced, but still have those little moments that show off the real features and intricate details of some of the shoes. For the music, I'm a huge hip hop fan, so I definitely lean that direction and we were listening to a bunch of hip hop and lo-fi while filming and it just felt right to keep that vibe going. This was a pretty quick and dirty edit. I didn't want to do anything too fancy, kept it pretty simple, except for the transitions, which I... This was a pretty quick edit, nothing too fancy, kept it pretty simple, except for some of the transitions that you saw. Now for the setup, we had two overhead lights. You can actually see them here and here. They are the newer, uh, newer, I don't even know how to pronounce that, N-E-E-W-E-R, -E -E uh, off Amazon. There's a three pack of lights. This is actually the setup behind me here. You can see it. Let's if I can, there you go. So we've got the two lights, one there, one there. We also had an Aperture MC light that actually just was used to feature or to add some glow uh, in the air bubbles, that kind of thing. I wanted to keep it super simple on the lights, nice and easy, just enough to get some crispy footage. So the secret sauce to our whole setup was our backgrounds. These were actually all free motion graphic backgrounds from a site called, I cannot remember. I should probably pull that up. Pixabay, Pixabay. These were actually all free motion graphic backgrounds from a site called Pixabay, which I'll link up here. I loaded all the backgrounds onto my computer and actually brought down our TV to use as a backdrop, and then just Chromecasted the videos from my computer to the TV. I actually got this trick from a video I found a few years ago, and I will definitely link that below if I can find it. Overall, I love this video. It was a ton of fun and shows what you can do with just a little bit of creativity and ingenuity. If you like this video and want to see more, hit the like button, maybe leave a comment, and even consider subscribing. So that helps me out big time. Or don't. Up to you. Thanks. Thanks.